Indiana Living on Fox 14 continues. And welcome back. I'm here with Carrie Hefner for In the Garden, and he brought a pile of compost with him, <laughs> <laughs> or dirt, or... So good, we put it on a gold platter. How about that? <laughs> I just now noticed that. It looks yep. beautiful. <laughs> I'll tell you, that is beautiful stuff, and that's exactly what compost should look like. If folks out there don't compost, every household should have a compost pile. Um, it just makes good sense whether you garden or not. Uh, you should really think about composting. It's a great way to um, reuse uh, plant-based or cellulose-based kitchen and garden waste mm -hmm. and um, the benefits uh, pay dividends I'll tell you um, so what you need to do uh, composting is it's not difficult to do it's very easy and unlike what you might hear um, in, through the popular media or especially on social media, there's no odor associated with it if it's done right. So you need oxygen because the composting process, which is really aerobic decomposition, aerobic means oxygen is required. Mm -hmm. You need moisture and you need uh, obviously materials to compost. So what can you compost? Grass clippings from the lawn, rake leaves as we're coming up on cool weather, hopefully before too long. Um, so there's, there's what uh, it, composting requires. And uh, garden waste, what to do with the spring and summer vegetables as they wind down here in late summer and we move into uh, late summer and early fall. The, the summer plants are gonna um, wind down. Time to pull those out and just relegate them to the compost pile. Coffee grounds and the filters make wonderful additions to the compost pile. Um, Basically, uh, anything plant-based that is made out of cellulose. And so you heat the pile up, the, the pile actually heats up, the decomposition process will heat up the pile to around 160 degrees. Um, and you just keep turning that periodically, on, well, on a regular basis, keep it moist, and you end up with this wonderful material mm -hmm. here, which is the best soil amendment uh, you can get not only in terms of nutrients which are put back uh, into the soil, but it's scot free. I noticed you had shredded paper. Shredded paper? Paper is just simply cellulose. Mm -hmm. And so you shred it. Um, all of this material we're talking about will compost down faster if it's chopped up into small pieces. Uh, just increasing the surface area, you're giving the microorganisms more surface area to work on. And um, newspaper, shredded paper, wonderful additions to the compost pile. All right, great advice. And every Tuesday, Carrie answers your home garden questions for Live in the Garden. And our first question is, what's the best way to transplant an old bush I've had for years to a new location without it dying? Okay. Great question, especially during hot weather, we want to take a few things into consideration. Number one, what is it if it's a deciduous shrub? Let it go dormant this fall and winter. Let it lose its leaves. Move it while it's dormant. Pay particular attention to the hole that it's going into. Uh, when you take the shrub out, make sure you get as much of, of the root ball as possible, and then make the hole it's going into twice as wide as the root ball. Give it plenty of room, and of course, backfill with soil, and it should be fine. But let it go dormant first. Okay. Our next question is, how do I know when my eggplant is ready to pick? Oh yes, eggplant, Here we great go. summer uh, vegetable. And many of these eggplant varieties will produce right up until you pull them out of the garden. So you want to look for glossy fruit. You want to be able to squeeze the fruit and it should give and not snap back out. Mm -hmm. If it snaps back out, it's kind of spongy on the inside and might be a little past its peak. So at that point, you can remove it from the plant and, you guessed it, put it on the compost pile. <laughs> That's what I love, eggplant. Well, thank you, Carrie, oh, yeah. so much for joining okay. us. And uh, you were right, it has no uh, odor. It Absolutely smells earthy, right. it smells right. nice. Right, right. All right, thank you so much for joining us. And if you have a question, just submit them on our website, myarquamist.com. And still ahead, Rose City Rollers are here to tell us about their upcoming Scar Wars. You're watching Louisiana Living on Fox 14. Trade names are used by the LSU Ag Center for clarity and information purposes only. Neither commercial endorsement of specific products nor a recommendation to the exclusion of similar products is implied.